Okay, so this is your keyboard. It's a Yamaha PSR 290 MIDI keyboard. It's got 61 keys and it comes with charger lead, obviously, uh, instruction manual, got loads of instructions in there. Uh, uh, it comes with book stand and I'm lending you one of my sustain pedals just so you've got a more enjoyable playing experience because it has sustain somewhere in the settings in the background but it's really difficult to find so it's much easier to plug this in the back and you can use it as a grand piano foot pedal so let's start setting up first of all we're going to plug your 12 volt charger in it goes in the jack at the rear of the keyboard towards the left hand side so i'm just going to plug that one in there and along the top it's easy to see there's some guides so that is where your 12 volt charger charger goes you can put some headphones in the next jack behind there and this is where your sustain pedal will go and this is to do with connecting to a pc i'm not going to uh, tell you all about that today but that will all be in your instruction manual or you can always ask me so i've plugged in the keyboard the next thing to do is to plug the sustain pedal in so don't switch your keyboard on just yet and likewise the sustain pedal will attach to the jack in the back just and here you can see um, where it's a sustain pedal so it's the third jack along i've just run the lead round and put the sustain pedal on the floor and it should already be ready to switch on so we can obviously turn our keyboard on using the red button on the left hand side just here you don't have to do anything special you don't have to hold it down and the lights come on the reason you can't plug the sustain pedal in after it's switched on or even unplug it before it's turned off is because it will cause a reverse polarity effect which means that it'll just work the opposite way round. So when you're pressing a note, it won't sustain. And when you depress a note, it will stay sustained. You can easily buy a sustain pedal for this model from Gear for Music. That's the one that I've lent you. But yeah, you're free to use it um, till I need it back, which shouldn't be in the short term. Just got interrupted by um, one of the queens going out. Oh, it's Queen Mary too. Thought you might like to see that. <laughs> there you go. Special treat for you. So as we've done now, we've just plugged it in, plugged the sustain pedal in, switched it on, and it's all ready to use as a piano. You can turn it up here with volume control. <laughs> turn it back down because of the neighbours so let me just talk you through some of the buttons let's start with the voice button which is the one that's lit up here um, that will come on automatically when you plug in and turn on your keyboard your PSR 290 keyboard comes with 605 different voices they are listed here, the different sections of the voices. And you can find more in the instruction book. When you turn on the keyboard, it will come up with the grand piano sound, which is 001. If you want to change that, you can do so by scrolling this wheel. So if you can see on this guide, when I scroll this wheel, you can see the different voices. So for instance, let's stop at number four, 047 strings. You've got synth voices, this one for instance. But for now, we're going to set it back to 084, which I happen to know is a flute noise. And another way of 
selecting anything particularly your voice your style your song or anything on the keyboard rather than using the scroll wheel you can also if you know the number type the number in so i'm just going to select 084 and that comes up as the flute and sounds like this Okay, so now we've selected a voice, next thing we might want some rhythm. So instead of the voice button, we're going to press the style button. So that one illuminates. And you can see the style uh, that you want to select in the window 001, that's the standard one. Your keyboard comes with 135 different beats and styles. And so you, you can select any one of these by, again, by using the scroll wheel or by typing in the number of the style that you want. So I'm going to select 020, which should come up with the love song. There we go. And we can listen to that by pressing start, stop. Now that's just the drums at the moment, but we obviously want some music to go with that. You can play along with that. However, we can use the accompaniment button which will spice up your songs and uh, it will turn your music into magic. Okay, so I'll tell you a bit about the accompaniment. Uh, the button is here, where it's got ACMP accompaniment. So if we give that a press, that means that you can do single finger chords. So I think anything on your keyboard from the second F below, um, you can play single finger chords. So if I wanted a key of C, I just press C. If I wanted a key of G, just press G. If you want a minor chord, say I wanted an A, which is an A major, but if I want to make that into a minor key, I just press the A and the black note directly below. And so that's an A minor. So we play the first part of Sailing by Rod Stewart. Chords will be C, A minor, F, C. To play with the drums in the background, all you've got to do is add the right hand. What you do now is press the start, stop button here. So we've selected our voice. We've got our style, which is Love Song 020. We've pressed the accompaniment key and you can see in the window it's got accompaniment on. And now we want to sync it up to start the drum. So we're going to press start, stop. So you can hear that started, the rhythm started. These are the beats. Can you see the little arrow that's going along? That's the tempo of your music. Now, if you want to slow that down, you can tap the tempo button here. So I'm just gonna press that and it's changed to tempo. And on our scroll wheel, we're just gonna slow the tempo down. So I think we'll take you down to about 50. So now what happens when we press the chord keys at the bottom, comes up with delightful music. And I'm just going to press stop. And all you've got to do is add the right hand. If you want to sync it up so the keyboard starts when you want to start playing, you can select this button here, sync start. It will tell you in the window that's going to sync as soon as you press the single finger chord on your left hand. Okay, so I've uh, fixed my phone camera on the blind rail in the boat you probably won't be able, I can't zoom in on this mode so um, this is just to recap so basically press the red standby button 
on the left hand side to switch on it will come up in 001 grand piano as the voice and the voice will light up so you can play just normally like you probably want to for a while and then so next we then we select a style so the style button will light up and we will scroll to 020 and we want our accompaniment on so the accompaniment button on the left hand side next to the master volume switch so we press that and we know that the accompaniment's on because it will tell you in the window in tiny writing that it is there if we want the accompaniment to start when we start pressing the keyboard we then press sync start and your four beats will start flashing in the window again so everything if you're not sure of something look in the window and it will tell you what's working and what's not and then as soon as I press this C chord it will start playing and then I press stop you want to slow it down again you press the tempo button you can obviously play with the accompaniment without the beat if you want to fill in with the drums there's the main auto fill button you just press that one there And then it also takes it down a level. You can auto fill again. So you'll notice here that it's got a music database. There are 208 preset song patterns in the music database. The keyboard is just preset with the rhythm, the voice, the style of the music, and it expects you then to know what that song is and to know the chords or the, the bass notes and the treble notes and just play along with that. But you can have fun by just listening to those anyway. And how you do that is so you come over to your main keyboard where you've got song style voice and then you've got MDB so press that button there and that's music database so we press that comes up with 001 um, ALV fever um, we'll press the play button and we'll find out what that is I think that's probably night fever night fever night fever be and I'm just gonna twiddle this round and see Nikita oh Nikita is it cold oh yeah so it is so you can have great fun with that you just go through and listen to all of them you've got pop hits swing and jazz easy listening romantic ballads rock and fusion rhythm and blues hip-hop house latin nights country and western disco and party ballroom and traditional anything and everything i think is on there